Okay, time to compute the actual chi-square test. You could do this next step a lot of different ways, uh, but here's the way that I found is um, uh, kind of uh, will keep you from getting confused. Um, I'll come in here to the pivot table and highlight all of this information right here. The, 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 the labels at the top of the columns, the labels in the rows over here, and the, what we call the marginals, the grand totals here of the columns and the rows. Highlight all of that. Uh, right click, choose copy, come down right uh, below it, right click and choose paste special and paste those values. Alright, so all I did was I just duplicated, hit escape here, duplicated uh, down here the values in the table up here. Um, and that'll keep me on track here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to compute expected values here. Um, and contrast those expected values with the observed values up here in the actual table. Um, so uh, to, to do the expected values, I'm going to hollow this uh, copy out. I'm just going to highlight the, um, uh, the values here, click delete. All right, and I'm going to just label this as well, expected. So I'll be able to keep this straight. Um, all right, so the expected value now for uh, minorities with uh, minority neighborhoods and cleared cases would be, uh, I'm going to write a formula here, start with an equal sign. I need to take the uh, total at the bottom of the column, the 15, and multiply it by uh, the, the grand total in the row here, the same row as cleared, 17, and then divide by the grand total, the 30, just like that. So that's the pattern. This time, uh, times this divided by this. Click Enter. I'm going to do the same thing for uh, for this cell equal um, again the um, the column total times the row total divided by the grand total. All right, same thing for here. This times this divided by this, and finally this times this divided by this. Here we go. So there are our expected values. Um, now notice that because our two sample sizes were identical, 15 minority neighborhood burglaries and 15 white neighborhood burglaries, uh, these values are the same as well. Eight and a half here, eight and a half here, six and a half here, six and a half here. Um, if these, if your uh, two group sizes are different, then obviously these values uh, have a pretty good chance of being different as well, and that's perfectly okay. Um, all right, so the um, uh, the final step now is to use the chi test in Microsoft Excel to contrast the observed values up here with the expected values down here, and it looks like this. I'm just going to give it a p value like that, or, or uh, p to let myself know what this value means, and then type the formula equal chi test, C-H-I-T-E-S-T, -E and then a left parenthesis, and I need to start by highlighting the actual range, the, the range of observed values, and then a comma, and then the expected uh, values, which I just computed, and then a right parenthesis and enter. And here I get a probability level. Uh, it is, as you can see, 0.00990674. Uh, the thing to look for is, is this value less than 0.05? And this one is quite a bit less than 0.05. So what that means is that uh, the differences that we see in clearance rates between minority neighborhoods and white neighborhoods is not just due to randomness or not due to the fact that we are looking at 30 randomly sampled cases rather than all of the cases. Um, it is, in fact, a, a real pattern in the population of all burglaries in minority and white neighborhoods. So that's how to figure a chi-square test in Microsoft Excel.